every one of my friends, I mean, it was like seven in the morning. They all, no, none of them went to work. They all came to the hospital and they were able to go in and see him and say goodbye to him. And, and we went in and um, I remember going in and we said a prayer with him, with um, one of our early intervention team who became so close with and but it wasn't him I didn't feel like I needed to be in there with him because he wasn't there it was you know it was his shell and maybe I should have spent more time but I just didn't feel like that's where he was at the time and um you know I know some people spend hours and they hold them and I that's not how I felt like me yeah held his hand and again so different <laughs> Um, and I, I just, I needed to leave the hospital and I left the hospital before anybody. I had my brother take me to his house because I couldn't, I couldn't be there. But for me, that's when my second set of guilt really hit me. Um, I know that I helped as much as I could, but looking back on it, being at work, um, I didn't spend as much time as I would like to with him. Um, I was still playing football. I still tried to be active. Um, I wasn't playing as much as I normally would. And I mean, I mean, that's, you know, with having even a healthy child, um, but I wasn't in my head. I was thinking I wasn't there enough and now he's gone and I won't get that time back. And I remember just sitting in the room, like like holding his hand and rubbing his hair and, and thinking, I can't get that time back. 